What's up, guys? This is our 1000 here for my impact review for September 8th, 2011. We start the show with uh, Anderson in the ring talking about how he has some backup tonight to take on Kurt Angle. So Sting comes out and says he's been friends with the network now, and so it's going to be in the enforcement to be for the world title tonight. Anderson versus Angle. Good. Good job, I like it. Um, and then we have a tag match. Devon and the Pope defeat the British Invasion. So that was okay. Devon and the Pope defeat the one. Jeremy Boris introduces the finalists, which is Bully Ray, Gunner, and Beer Money. And they talk for a minute, and Bully Ray kisses up to him. They say, You guys are the best tag team, but. Everyone always wants to know who's better. So yeah, we talk about then we have four corners match. Eric Young defeated Robbie E. Winner Angelina defeat Velvet Sky and Mickey James. Ken Anderson defeated Kurt Angle by disqualification tonight. Their appearance by Immortal. And then they announced that the network had given Jeff Hardy the chance to speak his mind. And Hardy came out and said that he let everyone down, both fans and everyone in the back. That he was not in the shape to be there and the main eventer that he is. All he asked for is one more chance. And people could forgive him and give him one more shot. So, I mean, there were some other matches here and there. Like we had Eric Young, or we had uh, Kendrick and uh, Austin Aries do a little promo, which, honestly, guys, Impact was a the four corners match. Gunner wins, by the way, which was sweet. I like that. Um, and Bully Ray, Bully Ray basically said Gunner's a, a team player who's in duty has to. But I don't really like that part of it, but still. And Gunner wins, so it was kind of ironic. Um, Jeff Hardy came out, spoke his mind, asked for more shot. Overall, Impact was okay. Well, they did make a big announcement towards the end of the show that it's going to be Anderson versus Angle versus Sting in a three way dance for the world title this Sunday. I don't like that. Okay, hear me out. What are you doing, TNA? What are you guys doing? Three days before your pay-per-view, you announce a triple threat match for the world title. Three days? Really? It doesn't give you enough time to get the word out there? I mean, come on, guys. Come on. Really? 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 That's pathetic, guys. Come on. Three days? And this match should have been made like months ago. Or not in the months, but at least two or three weeks ago, we had a chance to promote it. Tina, you're doing a horrible job promoting your shows. I mean, and tonight's show didn't really build up for the pay per view. I mean, we, we showed Dips as and Champion in Austin Aries, which they're going to have a match. That was good. You had Joe and Morgan get involved, and it shows a build for their having a match, too. I mean, you had Beer Money, and your Bound for Glory series has been, like, the whole build for the last few months of everything. Um, we had, we find out tonight that Winner and Mickey James are having a rematch. I mean, not a, you guys are investing your time in building up your show. So I don't know what's going on with TNA. I mean, TNA, this is you guys are nuts. What are you guys doing? You gotta build a storyline. You can't just go with one thing and not do it. I mean, you have to build this. Build the triple threat match up. Build it up. I mean, come on, build your matches. I mean, and this whole network thing is a joke, but whatever. I got just my view. I was really disappointed. Impact was okay in wrestling tonight. Honestly, I think Raw had better matches. Sorry, but I do. Teenage really wasn't didn't deliver tonight, in my opinion. There was no points. Some Eric Young versus Robbie. What was the point of that? I mean, to help build up Robbie e again, with because we had Big Robbie, a little Robbie. I mean, to show that faction built up, I would like to see something better if you could have Big Robbie come in and help him win the title. 
and he leaves his champion. I'm just saying. Um, but Impact was okay. It wasn't great. It wasn't like good. I mean, the crowd was loving it, but I wasn't really loving it. But I mean, guys, I got two weeks. I'm going to my TNA live show right here in Michigan. So, can't wait to go check that out. Um, hopefully, get some pictures, a little bit of video, show them up on mine. I'll let you guys know. Um, guys, have a good one. This is our 1000. It has been a the pleasure, has been all yours.